Hey everybody, welcome to a little vlog that I wanted to create today. Got inspired by some folks out there doing some things online, kind of giving you some inspiration and I thought that I would do the same. Um, wanted to um, review a book I've been reading. It's called Whole in One Nutrition. Um, and it is a guide to fueling better golf. So I work at the gym, The Bridge, at Fiddler's Elbow Country Club, as many of you know. Um, I work with golfers. It's a lot of my population of my clients that I work with and people that I see and friends that I have. So I thought this would be a great book to read. Um, the guy who wrote it, his name is Robert Yang. So um, super interesting guy. He's a certified nutritionist, um, certified strength and conditioning specialist. He um, is the nutritionist for a TPI, Titleist Performance Institute. He's been in the industry for 20 years. I've been following him on social media. He works with LPGA and PGA instructors. Um, anyways, I just thought that I, I really wanted to read this. Uh, I followed the guy and I thought it'd be great to just do like a little video blog on it um, just to kind of get out there and give you something other than some workout exercises that I've been doing. Um, so the book was great, easy read, um, kind of fun because he's got these neat little um, sort of like geeky, um, they call them geek moments inside the book. So he's got these little like geeky guys, right? But they're kind of like extra tidbits or a little bit of like, here's some more information. Um, but he's got three main principles. Um, and those basically, um, it's kind of like our food pyramid, right? So he's got sort of this hole in one nutrition pyramid that he talks about, and it includes water and supplements and your basic like proteins, fats, and fibers. Those are the main, that's like his main, I guess, focus. Um, it's like the main Thing of his his uh, his his methodology here within this book, in terms of like fueling your body better and being able to have better performance for your game, which in this case is golf. So, um, and I totally agree. I'm I'm completely on board. I'm drinking the Kool Aid, but I really <clears throat> I like how we kind of put things, how we laid it out. Um, so, if you're quarantined and kind of doing nothing and sitting at home. Either go online, you can probably order this on Amazon, um, or see if you can find out where you can get a copy. I think you can go on his website, also order a copy that way. Um, so water, right? Big hydration. Uh, athletes can either be you know, hydrated or dehydrated. I think that's a really big thing. Um, in order to maintain strength and distance and performance, especially for golf, you need to be hydrated. Uh, we wake up, we feel cloudy, we feel kind of crappy. You can be dehydrated. Um, so that's a huge thing. Most people don't realize you need to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water a day in order to be fully hydrated. So how many of us don't do that? I know that I'm guilty of it. So, but guess what I've got right here? Got my little Corsicle. I'm always drinking and the thing comes with me all the time. So um, for those of you I know that I train in the gym, you're constantly trying to drink water or I'm asking you to, hey, take a break and go drink some water. Um, I'm really big on that. I think that that's a, a big um you know, being hydrated during your workout. So he does talk a lot about that in terms of, you know, when to drink while you're out on the course, to drink before, to drink after. Really, as much as, you know, we all want to have a beer while we're out there playing, it's not great for your performance. If you are becoming dehydrated, your performance will go down. As we play in those hot weather months uh, and you're coming around even 9, 10, 17, 18, and you're really tired and you got no energy, you don't have water in you. So you probably need to go drink. So that's a big, huge part of this, uh, this whole plan, right? Nutrition for golf and for any sport, really. Um, the next thing he talks about are supplements. Um, so supplements like magnesium, like vitamin D, like, um, uh, probiotics, um, fish oil, um, branch chain amino acids, um, basically all of these things help us with, you know, muscle recovery, um, energy, um, focusing. And so things like, for instance, I, um, 
I drink kombucha, right? I love fermented foods. Give me a little bit of um, yogurt or sauerkraut. Those have great probiotics in them. They help with gut health. Nothing worse than being on the course and feeling like you got to go or something's wrong. Um, so I take magnesium, um, anything you can get with vitamin D in it. Um, fish oil, they say take fish oil pills. Great for your heart, great for, um, again, muscle health. Um, you got to take it with food or you're going to have fish burps. <laughs> Somebody gave me a really good suggestion. Eat a little bit, take the pill, eat more. So it's kind of like layered in there. Um, but all of those things are really important. And if you are taking a multivitamin at the very least, especially right now, I'm taking multivitamins. I'm taking um, uh, apple cider vinegar gummies. I'm taking uh, emergency vitamin C packs, anything you can do, especially right now to keep your immune system up. So um, this, that's huge. Um, and then finally, he talks about his PFF, P as in protein, F as in fat, F as in fiber. They're like BFFs, but those are his PFFs. So um, he's all about, and, and this is just, this is basic, obvious stuff, right? It's like um, lean proteins, chicken, um, pork, turkey, good fats, right? Avocado, coconut oils. Coconut oil has MCT um, in it, and that is great brain food. Um, you've got fiber in vegetables, cruciferous greens, kales, collard greens. Um, we love arugula broccoli, cauliflower even, um, but anything you can get that's green is going to be awesome. So as much as we all really want to like sit at home and eat pizza and frozen crap that's like really comforting, at this point you guys should all be doing your part to like stay as healthy as possible. I'm trying to get up early in the morning because I train at like 6.30, 7 in the morning and if I'm a slug for this entire time that I'm home, I'm never going to be able to get up and see my clients again. So I have got to stay in a routine or I'm getting up every morning early before the crack of dawn. I'm out the door. I'm going to boot camp. I'm trying to stay healthy for me so that when the time comes for me to go back to work, it'll be an easy transition. Um, but also to help my immune system. So like I said, I'm doing everything that I can with vitamins and apple cider vinegar, which has, you know, the probiotics from the mother in it. Um, so these foods are also great for stabilizing blood sugar um, and creating healthier, better golfer, right? So everybody wants to like make their game better. It's not just about how far and how fast you can hit the ball. If you're feeling like crap one day, you're never going to play well. Again, in the hot summer weather, when we finally get back out on the course, um, you really want to make sure that you're fueling your body on the course and after and before. Um, things you, you know, and, and I'm hoping that Fiddler's Elbow specifically, and hopefully other clubs throughout New Jersey and the country can provide on-course options for their golfers that are healthy. Um, we've definitely been talking with Chef and some of his guys to provide these things out in our halfway houses, um, on the cards. Those might include like little chicken salads or tuna salad. Um, if you're going to have a burger or a hot dog, don't eat the bun. Do you really need the extra crappy carbs? that are just empty calories. Um, think about like things like hard boiled eggs. You can take them with you. You can put them in a little cooler. I know there's plenty of guys that bring their own little coolers with packs in them. Um, nuts and seeds, any kind of uh, sunflower seeds, pepitas, uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, a handful of nuts is always a great snack to satiate you. Um, and then any kind of whole fruits, little things of berries, maybe an apple, an orange. Um, come on, those are all like no brainers. They're all just like anything that's a whole food is a great option. So again, just to kind of recap, um, I loved this book because it was, it was basic. It's not like a diet and it's not like, oh, let's you know, cut out everything fun for the next 30 days. This is a way of life. And it's just another reminder for us that we need to fuel our bodies with the right things from water and vitamins and supplements and great foods in order to be able to get out there and play um, and play well and feel good for those guys that are getting older. It doesn't help your body to either starve it or to not fuel it or to not hydrate it. Um, it's only going to prohibit you from having the best performance that you can possibly have. So um, again, this was just a quick little 
blog I wanted to post up there. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me know. I'm also going to post this, obviously, it'll be on our YouTube site, and I'm going to throw it out on some social media. But um, follow Robert Yang. He's super cool. I hope to see him at some point later this year, maybe at the golf. Um, it's like a fitness summit um, uh, out in California, if I can get there, and um, be able to talk with him in person. So super excited. Get out there. Fuel your bodies. Start now while you're home. It's really easy. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Talk to you soon.